when he called on millions to take to the streets to give the army a mandate. This is what Egypt's General Sisi was hoping for. The scenes in Tahrir Square reminiscent of earlier in the month when the army stepped in and removed former President Mohamed Morsi, an act which they said was simply delivering the public will. But there is another interpretation, that this was a military coup. And for supporters of Mohamed Morsi, the announcement today that he would be detained facing charges of conspiring with the Palestinian group Hamas to commit crimes including murder simply underlined that. <laughs> Earlier in the day, thousands gathered in the Rabah al adawiya Mosque to demonstrate their ongoing support for the former president, as they have since his removal. Well, if you needed evidence of how today's announcement has galvanised the street, really, here in Egypt, this is it. This is one of the main thoroughfares from downtown Cairo up to the Rabah al adawiya Mosque. And these people are walking on foot to go and join those pro noisy protests at the Rabah Mosque to show their opposition to what the army has said and what the prosecutor has said. They say this is the return of the Mubarak regime and they're not prepared to stand for it. Given the tensions in this city, some clashes were inevitable, but so far they have been relatively minor. These pro Morsi supporters received treatment for what they said was birdshot fired by police. In Egypt's second city, Alexandria, however, the violence between the two sides was deadly. A 14-year-old boy amongst those killed, the number of fatalities still rising, with many more injured. Leaders of the Muslim Brotherhood say this is just the beginning and they blame with Egypt's new leaders for what might happen next. They want to stir discord in society and to instigate violence amongst the demonstrators. But we insist that our million-person march, the Friday of Discernment, is a peaceful protest. The demonstrations in Tahrir Square in support of the army began slowly, but there was a clear backing for the military's approach. I am coming out in order to give a mandate to the army to fight terrorism and so that we can live in peace and security, and so that people can achieve their goals, and for people to begin working again, a mandate for the army to take up all of its responsibilities. General Sisi may feel that these scenes being played out on television screens across Egypt and the world give him precisely that popular mandate. But to do what remains unclear. Whatever Egypt's revolution has become, one thing is clear, it's not over. Tom Rayner, Sky News in Cairo.